Now we should be knowing a few other terminologies. One, it is the principal axis. The other one, it is subsidiary axis. So what is the difference between them? How to differentiate? So the principal axis, when to call that as a principal axis, okay? If the molecule has only one axis, no other axis are present. So for example, water. Water we have seen C2. And one more in the plane we have seen. In the plane we have seen. So like that. So here also C2, here also C2. So what is the principal axis? C2, only one axis. Then what is this? Ammonia, NH3. So NH3, H, H, and H. It's a pyramidal in shape. So it is passing through nitrogen. Any other axis are possible? No. So only C3 is alone present. So that will be the principal axis. Similarly, xenon oxy tetrafluoride. Here also only one C2 is present. So that will be the principal axis. So molecule containing only one axis and that too, they are said to be principal axis. Fine. There are certain molecule in which more than one more than one axis of symmetry are possible. We have seen BF3 previously. So in BF3, C31 we had, C32 we had, C33 is nothing but E, okay. When the axis is perpendicular, okay. When axis is in the plane, then we have C2, how many? Three C2s. Three C2s. So here, when we summarize, E, when we summarize, E is there, okay. E is there, okay. Okay, E, then two C3s, then three C2s, when we are summarizing for BF3. Now, among this, which is the principal axis? Whichever has got higher order axis, then that is said to be the principal axis. So when you are comparing C3 and C2, which has got higher order of axis? C3. So C3 will be the principal axis. So this is the principal axis. So in that way, we have to, so whichever the axis containing higher order, that is set to be the principal axis. So here C3, which is actually perpendicular to the molecular plane. This is the principal axis. Then others are said to be subsidiary axis. So we have seen xenon tetrafluoride. What is that xenon tetrafluoride we have seen? C4, we had two C4s and four C2s were present, isn't it? So in that 2C4, we had 2C2s also. Okay, these four C2s are nothing but C2, 2C2 prime and 2C2 double prime. So previously we have seen. So how many orders of uh, symmetries are there? One it is uh, C4 and the other one it is C2. Out of these two, which will be the principal axis, which has got the highest order of axis, that will be the principal axis. So this is the principal axis. So the plane, sorry, the axis whichever is perpendicular to the molecular plane so this is the one so this is the one which is the principal axis okay perpendicular so like that principal axis and subsidiary axis you are going to find or differentiate another thing uh, when we have seen here we got three uh, fold axis of symmetry three two fold axis of symmetry Okay, three twofold axis of symmetry. What are they? This is the one C2, C2 prime and C2 double prime. So all the three are different C2s. So which is said to be the principal axis? Then we have to say axis passing through maximum number of atoms are said to be principal axis of symmetry. And that too, the molecule is non-planar. So in that case, the axis passing through maximum number of atom is said to be the principal axis. So out of all these three, so this is the principal axis. Generally, we could say principal axis to be z-axis. So here, the horizontal axis is said to be the principal axis. Let us just consider to be that z-axis. So here is the highest, uh, this is the, uh, whichever is passing through more number of atoms, then that is the principal. But that is not true for a planar molecule. So in that planar molecule, you could see that platinum, dichlorodiamine. So in that case, the axis is passing through platinum, 
and two chlorine atoms. But that is not the principal axis. We have to take into account the axis whichever is perpendicular to the molecular plane. That is the principal axis. Okay. So this is the case with the planar molecule. So in that way, the principal axes are identi I mean, identified. The rest of the axis, they are said to be the subsidiary axis. So in this case, what are the subsidiary axis? So C4 is the principal axis and this C2, this C2, they are the subsidiary axis. Similarly here, C3 is the principal axis. This C2 will be the subsidiary axis. So what they are saying, subsidiary axis here in case of BF3, what is that student? BF3, what is that we have seen? E comma 2 C3s, okay, then 3 C2s. So which is the subsidiary axis? This is the one. How many subsidiary axis are present? Three subsidiary axis. So this three number is actually caught from this. I mean, how many, what is the highest order of symmetry? That will be reflecting the number of subsidiary axis. So three is the highest order of axis. So how many subsidiary axis? Three subsidiary axis will be present. So that is what is shown here. Here also you could see four is the principal axis. Four fold axis of symmetry is the principal axis. How many C2s we have got? This one, four C2s, okay? This, this, is, this C2 is actually in C4. So this we are not taking, so this. So subsidiary axis. What is that subsidiary axis? After fixing the principal axis, there are, there may or may not be additional C2 axis present. If such C2 axis are present, they are called as subsidiary axis, which will have the following characteristics. Their number will be equal to the order of the principal axis. So order of the principal axis, C3 is the principal axis. How many C3s we have in BF3? Three, sorry, how many C2s we have? Three C2s. So that is what I said. Their number will be equal to the order of the principal axis. How many C2s? Three C2s. And three is equivalent to what? Order of the principal axis. They are lying in the directions perpendicular to the principal axis. So in BF3, when we are seeing BF3, so this is the principal axis we have seen. Then what about the subsidiary axis? Subsidiary axis containing in the plane. So this is actually perpendicular to the principal axis. Then no molecule will have two two-fold axis. That's what I said, C21, then C22, which is nothing but E. So no C2s will be present. No C2. I mean, two-fold axis will be present. That is two C2 is not possible because of this reason. Then molecules will have three two-fold axis, but three two-fold axis is possible. And that is what we have seen in alene, okay, previously. Then regular tetrahedral molecule possesses three C2. One more example, uh, CH4. Here also we have three C2s. How do you get three C2s? One, it is passing through X axis. The other one, it is passing through Y axis. The other one is passing through Z axis. So like that, three different C2s are possible. Thus, the object having a principal axis Cn can have either no subsidiary axis at all or no NC2 axis as subsidiary. Only two possible combinations of principal and subsidiary axis are possible. What they are is Cn can combine with either no C2 or NC2. Okay, no other combinations are possible. So what is the significance of this identification of principal and subsidiary axis? In another symmetry element, that is plane of symmetry, we'll be dis discussing the various planes with respect to that of the principal axis. So once you identify principal axis, then you could recognize the various symmetry, plane of symmetry elements.